My name is Paul Clancy. I'm technical sales manager for Volpower Solutions, um, and we are a medical imaging company focused on the early detection of breast cancer. Um, we've been an ISV partner of Yellowfin for about a year now, um, and in that space of time, we've we've we're bringing to market a, a analytics product which is focused on breast cancer, um, early detection, the quality of mammography, and um, just basically trying to improve all those kind of metrics that a mammography clinic would use. Um, well, I guess in our, in our work, we gather a lot of kind of important medical information, um, a lot of quality control information, and a lot of you know, data that can be used to improve um, operator performance, machine performance and stuff. So we had a lot of this data that we wanted to present to the users. Um, we made our own in-house package, which was successful and still a good product. But I think to get to the next stage, um, we had to look at something like Yellowfin that offers those advanced dashboards. It's very customizable, um, generally just you know easy to use and easy to build a really kind of professional analytics package with. Um, so it's the evolution, I guess, of, of all the data that we've had for a long time, and now we're just presenting to people to make it um, what we call actionable intelligence. I guess it, it, um, you know, a, a platform like Yellowfin just, just lets you really build something um, aimed at the consumer of the data. So the different levels of, of user, you know, we've got CEO, kind of executive users, um, we've got kind of middle management, and then we've also got a, a unique user group of scientists and researchers who, you know, they crave really detailed data. Um, so to cater for all those different markets was quite difficult to do with our own product. Whereas with something like Yellowfin, we can have dashboards aimed at specific roles. We can have specific reports and tables that are that are only visible to the people that need to see them. Um, and again, like we can we can secure the patient data or even kind of human resource related data that make it to make it available to only those that should see it. So um, you can sit down and have a conversation with someone about their performance in an objective manner. Um, it's it's you know it's based on science and it's non-threatening and it's it's fair and it's objective. So um, Yellowfin just let us do those those um, requests or those requirements quite easily compared to what we could build in. I think the, the cloud stuff that I've touched on was really important. Being able to white label um, and you know offer it to market as our own product was extremely important. Multi language support, um, you know, to to deploy something globally and to drop in language packs and things is fantastic. Um, and I think I just got a really good feeling from you know Yellowfin that it was easy to install. It, it didn't kind of cause any initial problems, and anything we've kind of given to it, like we you know, import data from SQL or CSV files or whatever, it's, it's just handled really well. Um, so it just very quickly, uh, I, I guess, accelerated above the competition to become a, you know, the, the preferred solution because it was just easy and it, and it ticked all the boxes, so to speak. Um, and it's, you know, it's a testament to that, that our development team have had such a quick turnaround of probably less than six months from a concept to an actual product that's ready for release to market. I mean, as you said, licensing um, is really simple, and being able to have like a fair method of purchasing that's you know in the same um, ballpark as our own way of supplying services and software. So, if we want to put something in the cloud, it was really important that we could offer it as a subscription-based service, um, and Yellowfin do that really well, and also just to give us the time flexibility to develop it ourselves um, before we had to you know come up with some huge purchase cost to Yellowfin. So yeah like the, the cost of becoming an ISV or, or getting your own license was was relatively low so that lets us you know do what we want to do without worrying about having huge costs of entry or, or what have you so um, and I think the you know the, the training the wiki the support is all really good um, and it's a testament to those features that we've developed as quickly as we have. And yeah, I think long term, you know, the relationship seems like it's going to be very easy and, and, and beneficial to us both. So yeah, it's been, it's been good. Um, well, yeah, so the, the key to catching breast, or the key to breast cancer is catching it early to give the patient the best possible outcome. So 
Um, what Volpara offers the, the clinician is help with quality control, with managing the resources, you know, both people and machines. Um, and with the other science that we're doing with full power density, full power dose, we have a unique kind of set of data that Yellowfin lets us present to the user um, in a really easy way. And it's, you know, it's applicable to all aspects of, of mammography and quality control. If it's a, a large kind of national or state screening program, we've got something to offer. Even if it's, or if it's just a small, um, you know, kind of a, a private clinic with only a couple of machines, there's still important quality control metrics and performance metrics that you can take from our product. So it's, it's applicable to all size of organizations, all kind of countries and regions. Um, and we, we generally just have, you know, we generally have something that we can offer everybody um, as a result of, of Volpower Enterprise, which is the product that we've, we've made. I mean, mammography is an excellent screening tool and it's, it's an excellent baseline, um, but it's not suitable for everybody and it doesn't, you know, always find everything that, that could be hiding. Um, so it's, it's, I guess, um, enterprise allows people to check that the quality that they are doing with mammography is as good as possible. Um, and then the other products we have, Volpower Density, for example, can automatically um, point patients towards something that is suitable for their body. So um, if women have very dense breast tissue, they're going to need to have an ultrasound or possibly an MRI or some other modality that can, that can see um, potential issues. And Enterprise just brings all those kind of metrics together and um, lets the facility kind of benefit from all the science that we've put under the hood for those different products. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's helping in a lot of different ways. Um, and it's improving kind of things in different ways. So, it's, it's um, well, obviously, one of the biggest fears for for women is compression. So the breast has to be compressed between two plates. It's it's you know described as somewhere between uncomfortable and painful. Um, so one of the metrics we report is a unique feature that Volpower has, which is pressure. So the compression pressure is relative to the patient's body. Um, if we can standardize that pressure and make it kind of a, a fair um, way of, of performing mammography, then we're probably going to reduce pain and as a result we're probably going to get more women to attend screening. Um, in Australia, I think in, in Victoria, the attendance rate is somewhere around 59%, so there's obviously you know 41% of women that are not attending mammography. Maybe pain is one of those reasons. And as well as that, if you don't use enough compression pressure, you may inadvertently give her too much radiation. So that's also something very important. Um, we're x-raying women, healthy women, um, so we want to reduce that radiation to as low a level as possible. So those metrics, you know, pain, radiation, are very important for women. And um, from a quality control sp perspective, <coughs> we're also judging the quality of the mammograms themselves. And this is a kind of a real labor intensive manual task that lots of um, screening programs have to perform on a, on a regular basis. So we're trying to automate that, make it standardized, um, make it objective so it's, it's a fair conversation you can have with your staff about the quality of the images they're taking and therefore hopefully raise the, the overall quality of the, the screening that you're doing. So it's, and it's, it's applicable globally. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of trying to bring in a, a standard for the quality of mammography that, that is applicable all over the world. So it's, it's you know, Yellowfin um, kind of fits nicely into that as being something we can deploy globally and, and give the same metrics to anyone in any market. Um, maybe customize it with different languages or certain things, but it's, it's just so easy to, to use that in a, in a global market. I guess a, a long-term kind of corporate strategy has, has been to have our products available in the cloud or in a, a, a SaaS model, um, you know, really as soon as possible. So as soon as we could get to that level of technology, we've always wanted to, to have um, full power running in the cloud or data in the cloud for, for research and for, um, you know, commercial purposes. So Yellowfin being kind of built from the ground up for cloud just fitted really easily into that. We'd already spent some time looking at Microsoft Azure and decided on that platform as what we wanted to do. So having Yellowfin available in Microsoft Azure just ticks all the boxes. It's secure, it's reliable, 
Um, there's data centers in every global region pretty much. So there are no real arguments from a security perspective. We always can protect patient privacy um, using either our own encryption um, algorithms or various technologies that Microsoft offers. So it's, it's, it's just a really good platform um, to try and attack something like breast cancer because it's, it's global, you can do huge amounts of research. And I think one day the, the goal would be to have you know, huge um, amounts of mammography data in the cloud being crunched by some kind of algorithm that's going to find you know, patterns and, and, and possible reasons for breast cancer. So it just aligned with the long-term corporate vision that we've had for a while to, to be a, a cloud-based imaging company and, and use all those resources that the cloud provides. Um, no, it's been, uh, it's been really good. I mean, we've had, um, so pretty much this time last year, I came to a road show um, and I think meeting, meeting the CEO, meeting all of you, know, you guys, your team, and then meeting some investors, and I kind of met everyone from top to bottom, I guess, and outside your company. Um, and everyone just seemed to be on the same kind of path, and there also seemed to be a nice element of fun and involved in the whole thing. Because um, I guess, you know, data and business analytics, analytics can be somewhat boring, but you've put a real kind of fun, um, kind of cutting edge, and, and the whole kind of branding and the marketing of Yellowfin, I think, is really nice and interesting, and, and it's kind of futuristic. So. Um, I think we just got all the support we needed at the start, which kind of cemented our, our decision that this was the way to go long term. Um, and even when we were ready to talk about kind of pricing and commercial things, everything just happened quite nicely and, and in, an, in an agreeable fashion. So there, hasn't, there haven't really been any kind of issues or, or you know, roadblocks to overcome. It's just been a nice, easy two-way relationship. Um, I think we're looking forward to kind of you know, getting the product out there scaling it up globally and um, you know using lots of yellowfin licenses <laughs> for our, our mutual benefit so yeah it's been it's been great